I honestly believe that this is our playground. Is the 1%, the banksters, all those kind of guys, are they going to make this nice and easy on us? Absolutely not. They painted a cute little bottom in there coming out of Friday. And what do they do right out of the gate first thing this morning? They go and just break everybody's heart, run everybody's stops. This is where understanding concepts like market structure are critical. This big old wick up top here and this tail down below here probably define our trading range for the next little while. And what I actually pointed out off of lower time frames is I like the idea that this 2.618 and probably also this 877 here, they probably define the bottom end of any sort of trading range, if you will. Now we have this though to work with, right? But what are 38.2s, right? Because that's what we should expect at any given point in time. So there's 38.2. So there is your trading range. <laughs> I get the impression that Bitcoin itself is uh, coming into support levels. You know, we had talked lots about this in the Broiler Chicken Show and stuff. We got big fat round numbers. We've got recent key lows. We've got head and shoulder breakout levels. We have a couple moving averages. We've got 38.2s. I mean, there's a lot of support down in this area. And I would even imagine that there's probably so much support that a lot of people saw, you know, they might use things like 200 period moving average and stuff to help them. I wouldn't even be surprised if a lot of the 1% kind of go, you know what, there's too much attention down here, too many support lines, too much buying interest. Let's take the market back up for a little bit. I will say that we do have a confirmed three bar fractal fail signal here. So that's valid. The only issue here, of course, is that uh, the high there was, uh, what is that, 30, 31 and change? And the low here is 27. That's 4,000 bucks. Could we have a $2,000 rally in the price of Bitcoin? here? Sure, no problem. And it wouldn't change this fractal image at all. So that's kind of what this image is. There we go. I honestly believe that this is our playground. The only problem, of course, is that is the 1%, the banksters, all those kind of guys, are they going to make this nice and easy on us? Absolutely not. So they painted a cute little bottom in there uh, coming out of Friday. And what do they do right out of the gate? First thing this morning, they go and just break everybody's heart, run everybody's stops. And as I said on the free video, eh, just look at the market structure. This is where understanding concepts like market structure are critical. You know, I mean, you all see this, right? M's or M's or M's. There's no real reason to beat that into the ground. You all know exactly what the message is. Uh, if anything, this big old wick up top here and this this tail down below here probably define our trading range for the next little while. And what I actually pointed out off of the lower time frames is I like the idea that this 2.618 and probably also this 877 here, they probably define the bottom end of any sort of trading range, if you will. And then we can just simply do now we have this low to work with, right? But what are 38.2s, right? Because that's what we should expect at any given point in time. So there's 38.2. So there is is your trading range. Actually, interesting how we have this old trend line, uh, you know, if we take out Crypto Cobain's fuck you move, that trend line itself, I think, defines resistance. And this will be one of those low to high trend lines. And you can kind of see the battle that happened right at that level here. But I would be surprised if we could actually materially move above this 38.2 anytime soon. Yeah, maybe you might go, well, Brian, maybe you should do your 38.2 there. But you can see that doesn't change a heck of a lot. 38.2 there is 28.5. 38.2 here is 28.35. So, I mean, basically it's the difference of 100, 200 bucks. But I think you get the idea. Top end of the range bottom end of the range. Not a big surprise. They pulled a fuck you here. First thing this morning, it's just what these Wall Street dickheads do. And now, of course, I would make the argument Bitcoin is fully securitized, just like the housing industry. What does this image look like off a lower time frame? I think it looks something like this. So there is that 38.2. Interesting here, 28.4. Suppose now we have to move that to, oops, not that one. There. 38.2, 28.35, as I had said off that higher uh, time frame chart. That's all against these highs right up in here. Makes perfect sense. And if anything, uh, we should probably have that other trend line that I had on there. There, there, there. Just I was sort of kind of thinking there to there. So something along those lines. Anyway, you can see there is 38.2. 
And there is that trend line. And I've kind of talked to you guys about this before. If anything, I do like this. Can you see how price itself, especially with this, um, and actually it's fasting. I had sort of told you guys, and I don't know whether you guys believe me or not, but I think that, well, and believe is probably not the right word, if you agree with me, that we're making some sort of massive head and shoulders pattern up here. It's just a whole bunch of these damn fractals just everywhere. So just like this one, just like this one, just like this one, I think we're going to go through onto all of that over here. And notice the middle part of the fractals, you have this really wild, volatile trading range. And hey, what a surprise. Look what's happening here now. Oh God, it's ridiculous how cliche this is. You can see, you know, this was uh, sort of just replicating the other side, those arrows. If we just freehand this, you can see there to there, and it's probably going to be there to there. Right? That is that same image. It's not really, you know, graphically similar, but you get the idea. And this, is that middle part of that diamond fractal is insane volatility here and so you know you get the left hand side and you'll have the right hand side so i think that's what's happening right now uh and considering that you know the market itself is kind of just sort of sitting waiting for the fed to do its thing kind of like the idea that uh i would be surprised if we really materially puked out here i think we're going to hold these lows and we're going to backfill through you know probably I don't know, the next few days here, 27th, you know, according to this little study that I did here. And you can kind of also see too, right? You should be able to go, this was the start of the diamond. There's the middle of the diamond. So the other side of the diamond should look like that. I don't know. So I don't think that this diamond pattern here, we leave this price range until way over here. That's like the 26th. Yeah. So the afternoon of the 26th. So what is that? That is Wednesday afternoon. We probably work our way through this triangle here into the midweek and then uh, we leave it. And actually, I wouldn't be surprised if there's actually a really nice rally that is sort of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't know whether you guys have seen in the past, but I've seen it lots of times. They love to rally the market into the FOMC. So you notice market up into FOMC, market up into FOMC, market up into FOMC, market up into FOMC. All right. Anybody seeing a bit of a trend here? Up, 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 up. Would it make sense that this would be an up? into FOMC? I think so. Also too, looking at this image, right? This is sort of uh, going short here. I don't know. That doesn't make a lot of sense, shorting into these lows. You often hear Brian talk about candle body lows for trade location. I actually think that this is a trade location to consider buying. Call me crazy. Most people do. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Only time will tell. I don't know whether I really like the idea of shorting here. And especially remember we talked earlier, I got a funny feeling that they've kind of laid a trap here with uh, goading everybody into thinking that there's a bottom here. I, I don't like the idea of shorting here. I actually like the idea that once this 2.618 is tagged, if we have any bullish divergences, you might want to pay attention. And just out of curiosity, what do you, what do you think? Like if we pull up, say, the four-hour chart, are there going to be any bull divs that are forming here? I was quite shocked when I saw this. Look at all these divs. That's a lot of divs coming in here. You saw when the list started to get stacked up on the upside here of all the divs, right? That was your warning sign. Hey, something's about to happen. So there's a bunch of divs that are all trying to come in. So I do like the idea that they uh, hit these fog and bombs. whole bunch of divs are all in place. Of course, get everybody freaking out. You know, maybe it's on fucking Binance FUD. I don't know. Thank you.